in the ranks queue. 6.25 win-loss record. We'll see if he can bring that fury here against Sandstorm as we get into the elimination semifinals. Elimination semifinals, like you said, this determines who's gonna podium. Will it be Sandstorm? Will it be Kaina? Kaina, no surprise, on that Taros. Last time they met was that Summer Royale, or maybe it was the Autumn Royale. It's not updated yet, Creed. I really asked you to do that this week, but you didn't. Uh-oh, you're going to get called out of here for it. But it's Summer Royale. Kind of was the victor, but it wasn't against the Tesca. It was against the Mirage. Now Sandstorm all about that Tesca, but kind of might have picked up a thing or two about playing against those boots. Right now playing a great job, staying grounded against Sandstorm. Catches them with a neutral light, but Sandstorm able to get back up onto the stage and kind of gives them some breathing room there. He knows how far that dash D-Light can carry. Okay, staying grounded. Oh, now throwing out the dare. Throwing out the dare early in this one. Neutralite as kind of goes through him. With the hammer, but Sandstorm reaching once again with that downlight. Oh, he does such a good job of just right in front of you, looking like a little teaser there. So kind of throws out the move. Nope, Sandstorm jumps around, gets behind, and finds the punish off of the move from Kaina. And now all of a sudden, everything Ooh. is evened up until Kaina finds the punish with the neutral air on that recovery. If Sandstorm wants those vertical KOs, he can he, uh, he get him, get him. and he got it with the unarmed kit with the neutral heavy there against Kaina, evening this one up just a minute and a half into this game one. I really feel like Kaina was watching that previous set of Sandstorm versus Impala, though, because that was something Sandstorm was doing. He'd go for the up toss with the gauntlets, pick up into the recovery. Oh, oh my side air. Kaina running out of movement. He won't have enough. Sandstorm with a big play on the left side. And he dodged so early in that. It was while he was still on the main platform form and Sandstorm hit through the final iframes of that dodge. That let Sandstorm go crazy. He knew he had room to play with. Oh my gosh, is he gonna do it again? Dodge out. He kind of just it's wants so to get it. back to stage, bro. And Sandstorm's like, here, let me show you. This is how you're gonna get Ooh. back to stage. Completely oh. stepping on him. Recovery, kind of gets disarmed. There's the weapon pickup. It's the hammer, but Sandstorm disarmed himself. Going for the big play. Now he's got another set of boots. Stop, side air. <laughs> Taros difference, hammer difference, at least evening up the stocks, but kind of is so far behind at this point. Now he's swapping back over to the axe, getting the D-Light to send Sandstorm flying away. Sandstorm now over onto the gauntlets. He's been able to sit on those boots basically this entire game so far. Weapon toss gonna whiff. Sandstorm looking for that weapon spawn. It's on the left side and kind of not able to completely deny. Neutral air into the recovery, not gonna connect. Juggle game coming out, double neutral airs, and gets the down air. The recovery, he attempts off the top, oh. not quite enough. We are on Demon Island. Got wide oh. KO blocks, but it works in favor of Kaina. He hits the down sig to take game number one. He grabbed the backside of the down signature. We talk about signatures that hit in front of you and behind you all the time. That is a perfect example of why they are so favored in Brawlhalla. And big credit to Kaina there for shaking off that play from Sandstorm because he had a massive lead off the offstage boots play. And now we're going into game number two and Sandstorm's like, yeah, no more Demon Island. I want a closer KO box. Weapon's gonna go to, oh my god, dude, that's Taros. That's Taros right there. And it's gonna be the first weapon on Sandstorm. It's the Gauntlets. This is exactly what Kaina wants. This is the win condition he has. As I say that, he's getting worked by these Gauntlets, but then he gets three hits, and all of a sudden, there's a lead again. The side air. Sandstorm's got side airs to get back to the stage, but Kaina has a damage lead right now, and Sandstorm likely thinking about when the next pair of boots will be available. There's the pickup, but Kaina with the side air means that Sandstorm once again is going to be stuck on gauntlets. And Kaina, he doesn't care. Like, he notices that weapon spawn is there, doesn't even make a move a little bit towards it. He says, yeah, go ahead, take it. I don't care. I can outplay your gauntlets all day. I've been doing it so far this game. He's continuing it here at the second stock. Sandstorm tossing his weapon away. Now he's disarmed. Yeah, the boots are coming in for Sandstorm. See if he can bring this one back, at least find this KO, but Kaina's in the orange. He's gonna have to find something huge. Oh, the weapon toss, not gonna connect. The neutral air will disarm Kaina. Not able to get that weapon pick up. Sandstorm with the neutral light has the corner guard, but Kaina gets back. The nair misses. Sandstorm is playing the weapon control game. 
Good spacing oh, from Kaina initially, but towards the end, there's the signature punish from Sandstorm. Finally gets that first stock away from Kaina. Kaina spawning back in, has that unarmed kit, not super wanting to go in on Sandstorm, not super focused on that weapon spawn just yet. He did it safely and he has the axe again. Ooh, but he doesn't get the read there. Kaina with the spot dodge, gets past Sandstorm and punishes with the down signature. Basically a full stock lead here against Sandstorm, and he has a game lead. Sandstorm backing away, misses the down light, kind of with a two-piece, three-piece, four-piece. He's getting so many chunking hits. Oh, just barely whip with that in light. I thought we were going to see another one right there. Didn't feel confident enough to throw it out in time without taking a punish. You just see the color changes on Sandstorm happening so quickly. Anytime Kaina has this axe in his hand. So much unresponded damage. Kaina is getting so many hits onto Sandstorm. He finds a weapon toss down, but that's about it. Ooh, oh, that's big. Speed. Can he get more? Oh. Down light into nothing. But he gets the oh, touch. He, he survives. What a wild edge guard coming out from Sandstorm there. It seemed like at any moment it was over. At one point towards the end, it seemed like it was over for both of them, but the dodge was there. Sandstorm had that clutch and kind of being so careful right now. He's moving over, grabbing the ax. This could be curtains for Sandstorm, but he's gonna be trying to find his way back and gets the turnaround. Dodge, no dodge from Kaina this time. That was the dodge and Sandstorm's gonna chase, but he doesn't hit the neutral line and Kaina with the turn. I, I thought I thought I was staring at Kaina from last BCX. I thought he was going to lose it all right there. Once those iframes from the dodge ran out and Sandstorm found the hit, you saw that Sandstorm was kind of carrying him up into the right just a little bit. Then all of a sudden, Kaina went down. He's like, I'm not going to get caught jumping after this. I am not going to waste my in-air movement. We're already reasonably high on the right side, so I'm going to hold down. I'm going to hold left. I'm going to get over to the wall as fast as possible. I'm not going to the blast zone just yet. Zero hammer damage coming out from Kaina. It is all axe, baby. Yeah, and he was doing work with that axe, finding hit after hit. He was getting extensions where most axe players three, do not two, get follow-up hits. But here we go. Game number three, Sandstorm, the last North American. Can he hold on? Yet again, Kaina able to start off with this axe. The RNG is on his side for those first weapon pickups. And it's seemingly against Sandstorm as he has the gauntlets in his hand. Easy falling down air for Kaina. Side light into the neutral air. True combo. The big damage is coming out. We're barely even 20 seconds into the game and Sandstorm's already in KO damage. It's that neutral air. Get some hits done. It's over to the boots. Doesn't get that follow-up, though. The gravity cancel down light just narrowly missing Kaina. Final frames of that down air landing on the stage and making contact against Kaina. The light, Kaina's out in the open. Has no weapon. Uses his dodge to get back to the wall. Down light, side air, Sandstorm with the lead. First stock here going to Sandstorm. Getting back over to the boots as fast as he possibly can. Kaina gonna have to rely on the hammer here if he can even get to that weapon. Oh, Sandstorm tried to read the jump or the dodge. Oh. Up! Neutral air finds the KO. He's gonna probably move over to that axe very quickly, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Sandstorm spawning back in, gets hit with a neutral light. The chain dodge across the stage to chase after Sandstorm. This is that side air, wanted to get back up onto the stage. Toss, just trying to throw those away. He wants the boots. There's a weapon spawn, but it's over to the right side. Picks it up, gets a neutral air. I feel like Kaina uses downlight probably more than every other axe player. Like he's KOing with axe downlight, which normally isn't the best thing, but the fact oh I thought we were gonna see a recovery come out from there it. from Sandstorm. But the fact that he's able to put out damage so quickly means that okay, he's putting out a lot of damage, but it's oh! in a much shorter time period, and we are a minute and forty-five seconds into this game. Sandstorm is already on final stocks. Kaina is up 2-0 in the elimination semifinals. One more stock and Kaina moves on. Oh, the neutral sig! Sandstorm gets away from the follow-up, but Sandstorm is on his tournament stock right now. Can he close this out and get us to a game number four? He's got the boots. He wants the edge guard. Spot dodges, but Kaina's finding hit after oh. hit after hit. 
He just waited there right next to Sandstorm. Sandstorm fell, kind of fell. Out came the next neutral air. His dodge is gone. There's the GC side light. Easy cleanup for Sandstorm once he saw that dodge gone. Kind of now spawning in on final stock. Sandstorm either in or very close to KO damage. The axe coming in. You saw how far that down air bounced him, even though it was off the main stage. That was one dodge. He's chasing. Fast fall Kinda down. Waits. Same thing as last game. The fast fall down to get away from that string. Sandstorm went for the dare onto the stage. He's finding damage onto Kaina, but Kaina knows he's one hit away. The dodge up this time. Kaina goes low. Yes! And he gets the recovery. North America is out of there. We're getting a new region to be the 1v1 champion. Vamo Brazil now two out of the top. Three, use in grand finals, and now Kaina in elimination finals. Kaina handling Sandstorm. Sandstorm, he's so many people's goat. So many people thought he was going to be the one to do it, but Kaina taking him out. Three, oh, beating one of his demons in terms of characters as well. Kaina now going to continue on into Godly. And you're seeing a little chit chat going between these two players. A little bit more than we're used to normally seeing. And Kaina, unfortunately, he doesn't get to take a break. No, he's in the hot seat. If he's going to want to win this, he's going to be sitting there for the rest of today because he's got to go through.